Hey everyone. So yes, this is a big canvas. And I thought I'd turn you on mid pour here. I'm just getting my white on. Um, I'm going to do a three bottle bottom pour. All in rainbow colors. Um, I had someone talking about it um, a couple weeks ago. Brought it up in conversation. So I thought, well, I'll give it a try. But I'm not going to do a dirty cup. I'm going to layer the colors in, in the order that the rainbow forms. And that would be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. I'm just getting that paint over the edge. Maybe. <laughs> This is a big canvas, but I'm so glad I ordered the bigger washing machine tray so now I can fit them in here and not have to do them somewhere else. I think I'm all covered. Everything feels wet. So let's go ahead and pop those air bubbles out. I'm hoping I won't have to do a ton of tilting. So if you're new, the torch is used to um, pop air bubbles in your paint and also to bring up cells. Now the paints that I'll be using do have silicone in them, so we will get some cell action. I'm trying to decide if I want five petals or six. I think I'll do five. So I'm just going to put them strategically placed. Okay, so we will start with red. For that I'm going to use the Artist Loft Bright Red. This is the acrylic flow one. Try to do two layers of color as well. Better move that. Gonna get messy today. Then we're gonna follow that with Soho Cat Orange Deep. You might be hearing my bird outside. It's a Cal Cal Carolina Wren who has a nest in my mimosa tree and she will not leave my cat alone. She follows him everywhere. So this is Artist Loft Brilliant Yellow. And then for my green, um, I don't really have a bright green. I think I will probably use Soho Cad Yellow Green. We'll keep it on the bright side. follow that with blue and for that I will use um, Lucas Cyan because after this we're going to put a darker blue and we'll do the indigo Coming this way. 
<clears throat> I had this all leveled out yesterday and after we did our live last night it seems like it's coming this way a little bit so we can fix that so then we're gonna go with violet I'm gonna be scraping against that <laughs> go in there it breaks everything up color is down. The red is already ble uh, bleeding into the white which is cool. And I have enough space between them that they shouldn't get squished. And I am going to use the skewer and, and bring them in. It's just not balanced very well. I put some extra push pins in. to do if you're looking for something different besides just flip cupping you can get these bottle bottoms off coke and pepsi and <clears throat> most of um, the soft drink bottles have them and you can't leave it you have to tilt it because it's just too much paint you run the risk of your paint cracking. Okay. She's all moved. <laughs> Better grab a towel. So I'm ready to start tilting a little bit. Probably not going to do a lot. I want to try to leave these <clears throat> on the canvas. But I do want to uh, stretch them out. I'm going to try to catch the edge on the top one. So that some of it stays. It's 
not as much paint on there as I thought there was. Okay, so I'm going to bring it back to the middle. tilt. I'm loving those wispy edges. I think I might push them out with the airbrush just a little bit. Just to balance everything. The centers are interesting. They're selling up. Let me torch it first. If I airbrush a little bit, I can round them back out. I'm just catching the edges. So tired, don't I? Sorry. <laughs> it's very interesting how that red let out. Some of this may um, push to the sides and you might get a little runoff um, because when you have a bunch of paint setting, it's got to move somewhere. good. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. I'm not going to touch any more. I got a little running down the sides, which is really cool. But subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell next to it. And you'll get a notification when I upload the next video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Um, check out all my links below um, for Amazon. Um, all the supplies that I use, the washing machi machine trays, everything is there to get what you need to get started. And check out my Etsy shop, running another sale until the uh, middle of August, actually, this time. Um, my PayPal link is below if you want to sponsor the channel to get in on our quarterly giveaway, which will be in August. And check out my Redbubble if you want to purchase. I'll be taking a picture of this if you want to purchase 
um, merchandise with this print on it, you can. And um, also, Facebook. Uh, if you have questions, you can contact me through Facebook. But yeah, I'm happy, happy, happy. So I'm going to leave this one as it is and call it done. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye now.